go. Yeah, buddy. What's going on, guys? This is Polo. I have a very cluttered desktop. But anyways, this is a tutorial on how to use Hypercam 2. Uh, this was requested by, well, not requested, but uh, I offered to do this for uh, my dude Ben, a.k.a. Nations Gaming. He's the guy that made my background and all that. Uh, so if you guys need an awesome looking YouTube background uh, like mine or anything else really uh, YouTube related go ask go check out Ben he's my recommendation uh, or he has my recommendation one of those anyways uh, that's not what this is about um, this is about hypercam 2 which I have already opened up in the middle of my screen <clears throat> and I'm actually recording this with fraps so if there's numbers at the bottom right I'm really sorry anyways um, I'm going to show you all of my Hypercam 2 settings and whatnot uh, in just a basic little tutorial on how to get this thing to work. So here we go. Um, uh, starting when, whenever you open it up, it's going to be it's going to look pretty much like this. Um, if you want to do like a general, just record everything that's on the screen. Uh, click uh, select window. And then see right here, it's going to blink. Oh, Jesus. There, yeah, just put your cursor in the middle of your screen and uh, and click like that. And, you know, the line around the edge just goes away. But that's pretty much you've you've uh, tell, told it what you want it to record. Um, and then right here, uh, it tells you the dimensions of it. See, my monitor is 1920 uh, by 1080. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I have a uh, full 1080p monitor. Yeah. Uh, so you can record in full 1080p with Hypercam 2, but the only drawback is that I you cannot re record gameplay with it. Um, it's not quite that powerful, but uh, it's awesome for doing desktop tutorials and stuff like that. This is what I've used, except for this specific tutorial, uh, this is what I've used for all of my uh, desktop tutorials. Uh, let's see, you can just um, pause the video whenever and look at my, uh, my settings here. Um, but I mean the only thing that I know for a fact will be different with you is your uh, unless you have a 1080p monitor whenever you click select window um, and you click the middle of your your desktop background it's gonna tell you exactly what the entire uh, what the entire thing is and I'll, on the subject of that I'm sorry about I have all this like clutter going on but I mean that's just one of the necessary evils of making videos guys you're gonna have a lot of crap everywhere and I'm not you know I clean it up like once or you know once every two or three days anyway so yeah anyways uh, tabbing over to hotkeys uh, this gives you all the hotkeys uh, you know pretty much self-explanatory now here's where things get a little tricky as the is the AVI file tab now uh, the very top thing AVI file name this is where uh, this you know whenever you record something um, this is where it's gonna save to and that's what's gonna appear see I did a, a take one of this commentary or take one of this tutorial uh, over here you can see clip number seven that's what this was right here um, but I decided to do in order to really show you what's going on I decided to record this with fraps so let's see what else what else uh, then you can browse for file name all this stuff um, add sequential number to file name basically that means um, you know you could start it off as uh, video one and then every time you record something uh, you know each recording will go video two three four five you know like automatically so that's that's really awesome uh, you don't have to name everything individually and it's a lot easier to find it's not just a bunch of random numbers right here oh uh, let's see um, frames per second I know I tried to re increase this um, you know the first time I ever tried to use hypercam but pretty much the only way to get it to work is stick stick with 10 10 um, uh, rate in frames per second uh, and record uh, 10 and then playback on 10 um, pretty much just put all the same things that I have <clears throat> all the things that all these same things that I have there we go sorry my mouth is getting a little dry so my mouth is not entirely working correctly right now um, let's see the video compressor uh, I have the xvid uh, mpeg4 codec I don't know if this is the one you have to download it, uh, I think this is the one you have to download um, but I mean a quick google search you know you'll find it no problem at all uh, configure the compressor uh, I'm really not entirely sure but you guys can go ahead and uh, uh, and check it out if you want to um, let's see oh yeah 1080 yeah uh, encoding type you know I mean I, I don't remember what my laptop settings were so uh, you know this is probably 
imperfect, but this will get you recording stuff. Um, frame compression quality, and you always want you want to use the the compressor if you try to record. Um, your AVI, AVI file will be absolutely ginormous. I mean, it will be like fraps level huge. Uh, and what I'm going to have to do is, um, when I get done with this, is I'm going to have to go into Sony Vegas. Uh, since I'm using fraps, or if you get anything uncompressed, um, yeah, it looks really awesome. Um, but it's going to be a little harder to work with. If you have a, a higher end computer, um, you know, record in uh, uncompressed all day long if you want to. Because uh, whenever you put it into Sony Vegas or something like that, whenever you set the bit rate at the end, um, it will, that'll be like the cap, like it won't, like mine uh, is, uh, is, is 13.5 uh, million, okay, uh, or I just changed that today, it used to be 15 million, but since your HTPVR, the highest it can record in is 13.5 million, um, you know, when you render, you could set it higher than uh, 13.5 million and it's not going to get any bigger, or the, the picture's not going to get any better, so, uh, same thing with this. Uh, I can set it to whatever I want to, uh, and that will determine my uh, my video quality, I guess. So I'm gonna set it to 13.5, and it'll it'll uh, compress it for me whenever I render it out in Sony Vegas. I hope some of that made sense. Uh, some of you guys might be sleeping already. Uh, let's see, sound uh, record, of course, with the blue snowball, which I have in my hand right now. Uh, number of channels, two sample size, 16-bit uh, uh, sample rate, 44,100. It looks like. Uh, let's see options. Um, this is also really cool. Uh, a red cursor or something like that. Uh, and then whenever you click, um, you can add a uh, a little starburst so people can see where you click. You know, you don't have to have like some annoying circle or whatever around your mouse cursor the whole time. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, and it it changes colors too, so you can tell which which uh, little mouse button you're clicking. Uh, and then license. I don't know. It, that doesn't even mean anything. Because uh, this is Hypercam 2 is free anyway. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, I just kind of free balled it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of did this, uh, you know, kind of made it up as I went along. So if I left anything out, uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.